I quit my job in 2008 to become a hawker. It was 2008 financial crisis, the Lehman Brothers. I was actually working in a magazine, working as the events director, and I thought this would be the time to leave my job if I ever wanted to. So I made the plunge and became a hawker at Maxwell Food Centre. But working as a hawker, it is very hot, it is very tiring, and it's very, very long hours. So sometimes it is very frustrating because people only expect hawker food to be cheap and good. And essentially that's what happened, you know, I wasn't charging enough money. So I was working all these crazy hours and actually losing money. So we had to close the stall. So after the hawker stall closed, you know, I took a little break and then with two other partners, I opened up Walk and Barrel. And then also uh, had the corporate catering with Gastro Gig and then private dining with Own Self Make Chef. But then I decided to go back into the hawker life in 2021. Yeah. I chose nasi lemak 12 years ago because it is my favourite dish. Everybody has a version of this, whether you're Chinese, whether you're Malay, and you know, even the Peranakans have a version of it. And what I especially love is that you can have it any time of day. You can have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner or supper. Especially good for supper when you're drunk. 